I don't know about you guys, but I always have trouble coming up with any cool Thanksgiving related ideas for crafting, but this year is going to be different. Uh, let's buy some of these. Because to me, these kind of look like monsters. You know, like a harvest scorpion or something. Let's make some legs. And this wire is going to serve as the armature for the legs. I'm marking out the spots where I want the legs to bend. That's the foot. That's going to be the knee. And these toothpicks are going to serve as bones where I don't want the legs to bend. And we'll sand up the edges a little. I'm color coding these so that I don't get the upper and lower leg bones confused. I'm going to attach this with some super glue and baking soda. Now super glue doesn't stick well to metal. This is just temporary. What's really going to hold it is this wire, which I'm wrapping for two purposes. One's to hold these bones in and the second is to have something for the cost clay to grab onto. Let's get on the good foot. I want these legs to be more like a reptile than a scorpion. And I want the texture to kind of match the gourds. And of course, monsters have claws. That's just a fact. up the texture and it's important that these legs are warty is that a word warty anyway it needs to have warts so that it matches these gourds the gourds have warts Ew. okay let's put them in the oven To make the eyes, I rolled out a couple of balls of cos clay and cut them in half. And now I'm using my ball stylus to make indentions. The smaller hole is going to be the pupil. And I got this idea from my friend Craftsman. What? He has a very cool video uh, making eyes out of airsoft BBs. And I'm using that basic idea but then making some changes along the way to fit what I'm doing also making my eyes a lot meaner. Yep, that's pretty angry. Now, I have a bit of a texture obsession or compulsion maybe, or fetish? No, not fetish. I just really, really love texture. This will be the monster's tail. And this tail's gonna have a stinger on the end of it which will make this Thanksgiving treacherous, but that's every Thanksgiving at my house, so yeah. Let's hollow out the tail so that it just slips right over the stems. I want all of these pieces to be reusable for next year. We've already discussed the texture thing, so let's make some simple warts. The reason these balls of clay stick onto the tail so easily is because I've already put a layer of bacon bond. Let's bake this thing. Now 
One of my amazing Patreons, John McCormick, bought me this cool little airbrush and this beautiful compressor. Now, I've been procrastinating on using it because frankly, I've been a little intimidated by it. Alcohol ink. But that was really silly because in the end, it wasn't very difficult to do. However, I am gonna bust myself right here. I'm not wearing gloves and really, I should be. I don't know, I got caught up in the moment. Mistakes were made. Wear gloves. I think any monster eye needs a jaundiced yellow. Monsters aren't very health conscious. And speaking of health, if you discover anything on your body that's in this particular palette of colors, you should talk to your doctor. The old clamp on a drill trick. This allows you to really hold the part steady and not mess it up. I have a bunch of really rough figures that I made a while back when I was experimenting with different processes. And I wanna take one of these and uh, try to turn it into something that looks cool. Let's go with her. If you're interested in seeing how the armature and these figures are put together in its basic form, I've put a link to a video that I've done previously. Here I've added a very thin layer of cosplay to her face. She'll help protect the table from these harvest hellions. This double-pronged cocktail skewer seems like an appropriate weapon for her. After all, it is Thanksgiving. Gotta make her hands so she's able to grasp it. Plus, we have to customize it. She doesn't really buy anything off the shelf. She's a little high maintenance. Gonna sharpen up the tips. You know what this weapon reminds me of? Uh, I'm sh sure that was a justifiable shooting. Hmm. Be thankful. I want to be serious for just a second. Sean from RFD Hobby lost his entire house in a fire yesterday. And I was hoping that if anyone's feeling thankful this year for everything that they have, that maybe they would uh, think about going over to his Patreon and maybe giving a one-time donation of maybe like the amount you spend on a cup of coffee when you're out. Uh, I bet that would make a huge difference to Sean. Or even just subscribing to his channel. He really is a great crafter. Uh, I want to thank Eric from Eric's Hobby Workshop for uh, bringing this to my attention and Bill Making Stuff for suggesting that we uh, help this guy out a little. Happy Thanksgiving, you guys. And we're back. I'm using a little piece of polystyrene to make a knife for my warrior woman because she's in a gourd carving mood. And I'm going to use balsa wood to make the handle. little bit of super glue I've added some thumbs to her because you know you need them a bit of thread for a hand grip
Let's attach these legs. And I can still bend these a little. That's one of the beautiful things about Costly. If you build some of these gourd monsters, you also should build the warriors so that you don't end up like my neighbors. <laughs> 